Hey there, Svash just here again, uh, just doing a guide on automating builds for Unity. Uh, while this does cover MMORPG kit, um, this will work for any project in Unity. Basically it allows you to uh, automate and build in one file swoop a variety of targeted versions. An Apple Mac client, uh, a, an Android client, a Linux client, and a Windows client all at a push of a button makes it much easier to generate the client and server that the MMORPG kit requires. Now, um, I thought this application had been abandoned but I've noticed it's been recently updated and it does exist on GitHub so anyone can can update it and hopefully it'll it'll be uh, functional for the future but it works fine at the moment I really do recommend it. It's called Super Unity Build and um, I just literally downloaded the code from GitHub like this and I copied this root build tool master into my packages folder of my project and then when you open up Unity it will actually install it and create a bunch of folders in here. As a, I think there's also you can actually access it by the package manager the website which I'll link below has more information. So this gives you access to a new item under window super Unity build and that is this tab here. Now the concept behind it is you generate a bunch of build platforms, um, client, server, and things like that, and uh, sorry, release types and build platforms, which are Windows, Apple, Android, and then for every release type, then for every build platform, you get a bunch of build configurations which you can enable or disable. So to give you some idea, uh, we create a release type. Let's call it um, MMO Client. You can set your identifier, the product name company name. Um, you can set to custom defines. So in our case our MMO client should have a client build custom define. Server builds turned off, development builds turned off. There's a bunch of other advanced options in case there is anything specific that you know you need. And then uh, your scene list. So the scene list is unique. Um, so we'll just add scene list from build settings and we will delete that one. So there we go. There's our scene list, MMO client only, and all our maps. And this is our client release type. We will add a MMO server. Uh, we'll get rid of that custom define. We'll make it a server build. So that's enabled headless mode our scene list, we will add scene lists from our build settings and we will disable the client only. So we can see here our first scene is our MMO, MMO from our zero init and there's our two release types. Build platforms are things like Windows, Linux and OS so we will add a couple of platforms. Note uh, for PC we can turn on or off Windows x64 or add further distributions and we will add a Linux platform. So if we come down here and view our configurations you'll see that what it's done is it's taken for every release it's created an extra one item per platform so MMO client Windows 86, MMO client Windows 64, Linux etc. Now we don't want a client for Linux and our server we only want the Linux server so we're building uh, three configurations the client for Windows x86, the client for 64 and the client for Linux. Okay but what is it going to go and where is it going to be built? So if we have a look under build settings by default it builds to a build folder called builds underneath your current project. Of course you can move that anywhere you want and then it generates a build file or build path under that with this large string and you can change these to your heart's content. It's a bit overwrought to be honest. Um, I mean probably don't need distribution. We haven't even set distribution up. So version dot build forward slash release type so forward slash client platform windows architecture etc etc. Um, within product parameters we can see version and build this is where we set our version and build template up so the build version is this 
and our version template will increase 01.0.0.build we can auto generate our versions and build counters um, there's a variety of other information in in the various configurations um, so we you know, turn that off we're only seeing the configurations um, full configurations etc etc there's lots of lots of rubbish there but what is essentially by the, the small amount of work I've done now is if I push this perform all enabled builds it will build two clients one for x86 one for x64 and one server and it will just build it without me needing to change reload init scenes do anything else like that it just mass builds it it will fail because I don't actually have Linux installed um, but we'll push the button and see how far we get it's pretty uh, this build player error failing there because uh, I don't actually have Linux installed you do need to go into Linux and install it um, if we have a look at the folders so this is previous builds that I did this is the example of what you'll get so this is the builds folder our version MMO client PC Windows x86 that was the uh, distribution type and there's your complete full build for version 1.001.1 1. um, I built a second one after that and uh, probably I mean you see how it's done this is 1.3 this is just a an issue with the defaults the build path is version dot build and the version is 1.0.0 dot build so it's essentially 1.0.0 dot build dot build so it's just basically a bug in the defaults you'd probably want to remove that build or whatever but there you go MMO client PC Windows x86 nice version and without me doing anything it's going off and uh, building x64 so in a couple of minutes time I should get a Windows x64 popping up there anyway I'll uh, yeah there we go I'll leave the links in the comments below and it's a really really recommended tool of to keep your builds under control and it seems to be being updated these days which is great there we go x64 just built it will fail on Linux I don't have it installed so any questions give me a shout and uh, we'll see you around.